Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. Such a lovely morning. The air is fresh, 46 degrees. I'm taking a walk in the park. Just enjoying the peacefulness of it, so beautiful. Anyway, I want to talk in this video about three things, you know, uh, some of them may be seem important to you, some of them may seem not so important, but in my opinion they're one of the more important things we should do before crap really hits the fan. And you know, there are things in life that are simply too late. Some things you simply cannot do because of maybe you're too old or maybe you're sick and definitely you cannot do anything when you're dead so I was gonna say these three things and number one would be in my opinion to take more time off take more vacations and actually have some fun while you can because uh, once crap hits the fan forget about vacations that's gonna be hit thing of the past you know uh, we need to balance of course everything you can just go crazy and drop everything and go on vacation you do need you need a balance but some people are just so buried in work and you know i'm kind of one of them but i try to do as much as possible you know small weekend getaways uh, like today we're just gonna take a day trip to the beach you know it's cold but it's still pretty you know it's still nice to walk on the beach and look at the waves have a lunch and come back home you know um, it's relaxing gives you a chance to spend time with your family and uh, I think all of us should do more of it in my opinion this is Lance Park in Portland by the way for those of you who might be curious it's uh, it's right on uh, 92nd, Southeast 92nd Avenue and Holgate Boulevard. And anyway, um, number two. Number two thing that we must do, we all know it, and it is prepping. We witnessed shortages before with just toilet paper. But we are also witnessing how there is prices spiking up right now. Uh, many things, many things went up 50% in price. One of my subscribers and commenters <clears throat> and a friend told me that he went to get his chicken feed and we're not 50 percent you know you go you go anywhere and you noticed everything went up food wise guess not so much but still up compared to what it was back in the beginning of the summer typically going into the winter guess drops not so right now I hope it will you know gas has been affecting me directly for the past several years and now that I'm driving a truck and spending on average $400 in diesel a day even 20 cents a gallon makes a huge difference so needless to say we need to fill up our pantries our garages 
with everything you possibly can food water and water you gotta rotate because you know it's not the healthiest thing to do to drink that water when it's been sitting in those gallons for too long you know if it stays in a cool in a cool place i would say um i would still rotate it every month personally you know i would not let it sit longer because that plastic gets into your water and it's just not healthy for you and health is your biggest prep when crap hits the fan because if you get sick or something happens to you small chance you're gonna find help that easy and so do your prepping do it right now while you can still do it whilst prices are still somewhat normal uh, there will be time uh, when you won't be able to do it uh, chances are there will be a famine uh, not because there is lack of food because it will be done intentionally just like Haladamor in the Ukraine in the early 30s was done intentionally and 14 million Ukrainians died of hunger in about a year, year and a half time so it's not a joke it was done intentionally by Stalin it can happen here and uh, third prep which is last on my today's list but definitely not the least in fact it's most important one is your soul get your soul ready to meet the Lord because none of us know when we're gonna go and it's more crucial in the crap hit defense scenario Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 says seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he may be near if I if I don't say it exactly how it's written, there is many different Bible versions, but it's it cl it's close enough. You get the idea. And the key word here is while, because there will be a time when you would call upon the Lord and He won't hear you. When He will when He will take His spirit from this earth. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video if you find it useful. And I'll talk to you in the next upload.